What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Pop. Welcome back to the Pushing Our Potential channel, your go to for basketball instruction and breakdowns. And today we got to show some love to our big men. We got a big man breakdown today. We got Anthony Davis going against the San Antonio Spurs. He finished with 35 points, 15 for uh, 28, I believe. Without further ado, man, let's jump into the film. Let's see where he got his buckets from. Setting the screen here. Mm. I like this. What I like about this is um, we live in a day and age of the NBA where everybody switches screens. The pick and roll is almost obsolete because they just switch it. If they're just going to switch a screen and you're going to get Lonnie Walker on Anthony Davis, this is what he does to him. He gets him right here. Get out of my way. Goes right over the top of him. Great pass by Westbrook. Great pass by Westbrook. Like I said, if you're going to switch this and this is the matchup we have, Anthony Davis on Lonnie Walker on Anthony Davis, Come on, I'm just going to back cut to the rim. Throw that ball over the top. There's nothing he can do about it. Nothing. Another screen. Mm, that's a good one. This is good because he, he rolls it. He's going over the top here. Right here, pick and pop. He goes right to this spot. He doesn't roll too hard. Big man, you got to be cognizant. If you roll directly too hard... You're just gonna clog the paint up. You gotta turn and open up, read the floor and know where you're open at. He's open right here. Okay, right over the top, good shot. Iso big man. Okay, that's a good take. All of this dribbling means nothing because he's gonna, it, it always comes back to a, an attack. Two dribbles, he gets him right down here in the paint. And at this point, he just uses his size and his length. Nothing really fancy about that. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's filthy. We got AD just hanging out right here in this dunker spot, man. Right here where the big man should be. We get a great, uh, a great corner drive right here. I believe that's Bazemore. He beats his man off the dribble which causes AD's man to step up. And as soon as he does that, he gives him a nice dump off pass. AD's right here in the dunker, available. Great dunk, that's a grown man dunk. If you watch the Mouse Turner breakdown, you saw what I said about being available and the ball will find you. If you make yourself available, the ball will find you. Mm. Mm. Good move. This is a center, man. This is a seven-footer doing this. Here we go. Dribble between the legs. What really does it, guys, is watch this. Uh, watch as he comes into this move. He takes his left foot here and he stabs at the defender's high foot. Boom. And once you do that, it makes him back that foot up, drop them hips, and then you get the space you need for a jumper. So whenever you get an ISO situation like that, if you know you want to shoot it, just attack that high foot of the defender. Whatever foot is the high foot, because usually they're probably going to be in a staggered stance. If their left foot is highest, go to your right. If their right foot is highest, go to the left. But if you stab at that foot, nine times out of ten, they're probably going to drop it and they're probably going to back up. Raise up over the top and knock it down. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is what we need. We need this back in basketball right here. Here we go. Post entry. Westbrook clears out as he should. Give AD the space he needs to operate. Spin out baseline. You can't see it from this angle, but he has his, his forearm. He's, he's putting his forearm right there in his back. And if you're going to put that forearm... Spin out this way. Spin out right off that forearm. Because then what that does is his leverage is right here. If you spin out, use your body weight against him, that pushes that shoulder out of the way. It's nothing he can do. He's out of the picture now. He spins out. He uses his own shoulder against him because now he's on the other side of him. And he's out of the picture. There's nothing he can do about that. And then he and then even to to to, to make matters worse. He needs to recover this arm. So he tries to pull it over the top of him. 
Great play. Great play. AD was cooking. Cooking. Oh, in and out of transit. Ugh. It's a seven footer, man. Coming down. Oh, yo. They say AD was a point guard in high school. I can tell, man. He's coming down with the rock. Bringing it down, transition. Mean in and out. Boom. Filthy in and out. Gets right past him. One, two. Holds it out. Finger roll. Right over. Oh, my goodness. That's a great play. That's a seven-footer, man. Going full speed in transition. In and out to a, a finger roll and one layup. Offensive rebound, put back as he should. That's that's what you that's what you get paid to do. That's what we paying you for, baby. All right, here we go. Catch right here in the pinch post. Jab. Mm. Okay. Here's a really basic, uh, really basic move. Really basic drill. Definitely a drill. You definitely should work on this. I don't care if you're a point guard, two guard, three, four, or five. Every basketball player should have this in their arsenal. If you call yourself a scorer. You catch, you face up, jab, jab, and then pull up jumper. If you can't make that shot, how dare you call yourself a scorer. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mismatch. Yeah, I love this. Mismatch. Bully ball. Get his ass out of there. Why is he on him on the, in the first place? I don't know. It's probably set a screen or something, but we get this mismatch right here. He's gonna take his ass right down to the block. We're not facing up, we're not doing no crossovers, we're not playing around with the rock, nah. Mismatch, mouse in the house. Take his ass right down here on that block. Put a shoulder in his chest, boom. Get him out of the way. Finish right over the top. That's grown man basketball right there. Grown man basketball. If you gonna switch and put your point guard on my center, we gonna abuse you all night, all night. Screen, roll, get it off the rebound. Good shit, good play. I love how AD plays, man. He doesn't give up on a play, he doesn't get the ball, but he doesn't stop rolling. He knows he's a big man, he has to be available. Get it off the rebound. Let's get it off the rebound. I hate this chair. Here we go. We got a. Uh, he's trying to set this high screen. Westbrook rejects the screen, which causes his man to slide over just a little bit, leaving him open for enough space for this jumper. Starts with the screen, though. Here we go. Good roll. Stumble, stumble, recover. Okay. It's slop, it was sloppy play, but he made it work. made it work i'm sure they wanted an offensive foul but you know that's bully ball baby overtime work let's go get off the rebound yes sir hey man i love how he crashes the boards bro i love how he crashes the boards and i'm just geeking out over details because he's a big man he's supposed to crash the boards it's just refreshing to see man i feel like i'm i'm fired up i want to go hoop now i feel like i'm out there with him He's in there. You see, he's it's three sending it's three spurs down here. One, two, three. All looking at the ball. Nobody decided to box out the streaking big man. And this is this is what you guys can learn. You can learn from the defense as well, man. Box out. Box out. If you got three teammates, box out. No, there's no reason why all three of these guys should have their eyes on the ball. Nobody's trying to put a body on anyone. Literally didn't even attempt to box him out. And what did he do? He jumps over all of them. Give me this rock. Grown man basketball. They didn't try to box him out or they didn't try to block the damn shot. They're playing weak down there, man. Charmin. Once a, oh my God, good shit, AD. If you a big man and you want to get 40, if you want and you want to get 40 points, man, get it off the rebound. Look at Anthony Davis. He don't need the ball out here on the perimeter. He's getting off the rebound. I love it. Fired up. Fired up. 
Again, nobody's boxing at all. That ball goes up 31. 31, he should be in a in a in a in, in squat position. Squatting, getting his shoulders at Anthony Davis hip length and moving his ass out of there. Nah, he wants to look at the ball. That's a big man, bro. You gotta get a body on him early. If we take a look at his shot chart over here, we see first off rip, he shot a bunch of threes that he probably shouldn't have shot. <laughs> Imagine if he took these four attempts and, and, and got it down here at the rim, he would have had eight more points, which would have brought his total up to 43. You don't need to be shooting threes, big man. We don't need the big man shooting threes, but I love all of this green right down here in the paint. I love it. Getting it off the rebound, getting down there, getting dirty, getting your hands dirty getting your elbow greased and you, you, you just getting it getting it how you should getting it out the mud man getting off the rebound getting putbacks and ones and then right here we got the pick and roll game we got pick and pop pick and roll floaters uh catch and shoot jumpers jab step jumpers so anthony davis i love his game man i love how anthony davis can punish you on the post but still stretch it out to the mid range and still you know have the wiggle room to jab crossover in and out he still can handle the rock now don't get it messed up so anthony davis bro other than uh Jokic, he's the best big man in the league it's a tough debate between him and Jokic. they're one a and one b but Jokic is the mvp so i gotta give him the the, the the nod but that being said man anthony davis this isn't really surprising this is what we expect from him is what we expect from him but you can always learn from the film man join us tomorrow for some more film study probably do a point guard or a two guard or something like that but add me on instagram dt973 pushing our potential and we out